the manicured greens and chequered flags of a golf course the standard around the world. But in Abu Dhabi, each of its six golf courses boasts a unique offering for professionals as well as amateur players. In two parts over the course of this episode, we'll visit each of the golf clubs, take in the scenery and play a few rounds to discover how Abu Dhabi has emerged as a world-class destination for the sport. Sadiat Island, off the coast of Abu Dhabi, is poised to become a very special place. A destination within a destination. And it is also home to Sadiat Beach Golf Club, the Arabian Gulf's first and only ocean course. Golfing legend Gary Player has cleverly designed the course so that golfers never have to play the same hole twice. The only daily pay and play facility in the Middle East, it features several beachfront holes with spectacular views of the pristine white sands and the Gulf's blue waters. The course also hosts the Sadiat Beach Classic event each year. The second event held a few months ago was a resounding success. It drew a fantastic field of professional golfers from both the men's and women's tours, celebrities and sports stars, and the Classic raised nearly two million dirhams for children in need. As the social and recreational heart of Sadiat Beach, Sadiat Beach Golf Club provides world-class amenities for play and for pleasure. As well as the testing course, there are top quality golf academy and practice facilities. The breathtaking views and friendly decor at the Hawksville restaurant make it a truly relaxing experience. In Al Ain, there is a superb golf course at the Al Ain Equestrian Shooting and Golf Club. It is located on the site of the old equestrian centre, so it retains a connection with show jumping and horse riding. But there are also many other sports here, such as shooting, rugby and golf. The Palm Sports Resort Golf Club opened in September 2007 as the first serious grass course in Al Ain. It's a fantastic course. It can be challenging but easy. It doesn't penalise you too much. Um, my family come and play here, my son. And the great thing is, it's just a very welcoming place. The clubhouse is a great place to relax or simply to catch up with some friends. The view from the Palms Green restaurant is pretty cool as it overlooks the golf course as well as the horse race track. Abu Dhabi's premier golf course is probably the national course of Abu Dhabi Golf Club, which since 2006 has played host to the annual $2 million HSBC Abu Dhabi Championship. This year, Germany's Martin Keimer claimed this title for the third time in four years, in the process displacing Tiger Woods as world number two. The 7,300-yard national course is regarded by pros as a tough but fair challenge. Bold, strategic bunkering and large, free-running greens make for an interesting round. And it looks good too, with saltwater lakes, ornamental trees and palms complementing the lush playing surfaces. I fancy myself a couple of rounds on this championship course, but first, few pointers from the director of golf himself, Scott McCaw. Golf would be very easy if you were standing straight yeah. and the ball were teed up three feet in front of that you. And the most common mistake amongst amateurs is to get comfortable when you stand to the ball, which is usually slouching over the ball and yeah. being comfortable. To get that correct, if you stood straight, yeah. your feet at shoulder width apart, yeah. and simply tip forwards from your hips. And from there, all I want you to do is release the tension in your knees. Okay. It's a great course, though the average club golfer will probably need plenty of balls. Nine of the holes have water hazards. Where is it? The tour professionals like the national course, and for the rest of us, it's a good test. In the next segment, we continue our tour of the best golf courses in the Emirates, with three still to play. There's plenty of yards to be covered. You wouldn't expect to find a golf club right in the heart of the city, but here it is, just off 19th and 24th streets in Mushrif, right in the centre of Abu Dhabi Island. So the name, Abu Dhabi City Golf Club, couldn't be more accurate for this tranquil green oasis within the bustle of the city. It's a beautiful piece of land in the middle of the city. Uh, city Golf Club, our, our mission statement is open golf to the community and to grow golf, to, to introduce it to as many people as possible. The whole course is floodlit at night and the club is always very busy in the evenings. The clubhouse is also very popular with its 19th Street restaurant and patio serving drinks and meals all evening. We are the only golf course in Abu Dhabi Island with floodlit golf. 
there's convenience, there's more tea times available, so you can tea off from 6 o'clock in the morning all the way up to 9 o'clock in the evening. It also has the UAE's first two-tier driving range, with 36 bays and 30 of them are shaded. This allows practice even at midday or during the warm summer months, and the ranges are always busy. Al Ghazal Golf Club is regarded as the leading desert golf course in the world. Sited near the airport itself, it's a superb course, and since many golfers will never have played a sand course before, it presents an interesting challenge. The so-called greens, which are called browns, is a sand and oil mix, which actually give you a very good putting surface. It's not a trivial course either. There are serious bunkers, of course, and water hazards too. This is a friendly place to try your hand at a style of golf that you might not know too well. Abu Dhabi is a city by the sea, and the shoreline offers some excellent opportunities for course designers, especially for Lynx courses. This is Yas Lynx, one of two top-class Lynx courses in Abu Dhabi that have been created in the last 12 months. The course is peppered with 119 bunkers, and you can even see the Arabian Gulf from all 18 holes. This is a testing and entertaining place to play golf. Yas Lynx was the first Middle East designed by top golf course architect Kyle Phillips, and last year it was named the best course in the Middle East by Golf Course Architecture magazine. The magazine's editor described Yas Lynx as the first pure golf course in the Gulf, and a golf experience like no other in the region. In fact, Phillips was able to design not only the golf course, but also the actual coastline on which the course runs. The result, a perfect coastline that lends itself to exciting golf holes. The channel that you can see behind me, we dredged that channel. It partially existed, but all of the material we took from the channel, we put on the golf course, and that's what we used to shape the golf course. It gives the feeling that it's been here for hundreds of years, and that's what we were looking for. Yas Lynx is a great course, weaving through sand hills and wending its way along the shoreline. It's interesting talking to golfers as they come in from their rounds. You can really see the exhilaration and enjoyment in their faces. They know they've played a very special golf course. A true golfing destination is a place that a traveller can come to and experience not just one, not just two, but a number of different golf courses. So imagine, you come here for five days holiday, you're never going to get bored. You're playing a different golf course, a different experience, and then you've got all the attractions that go with it. You get everything. 